Hey guys, welcome to the shop. In this video, I'm going to show you how I center bores on the shaper, both for external keyways on a shaft or in a bore. Even in an offset, where the hole's not centered on the stock. It's all the same. I'm going to bring you in and show you how I do it. Okay guys, the first thing that I do in my method of centering bores on the shaper is I need to locate the cutter because right now it's an unknown. I don't know where it's at. You know, and I could clamp this in the vise and run it down and I could guess where the center is. But if I want to be more accurate than that, you know, and get within a thousandth of an inch or so, and let's face it, for most of us, that's far more than accurate enough. You know, we're not, most of us aren't sending people to the moons on these things, so you know, we got to be realistic on our, uh, you know, what we want to achieve. And I think if we can get within a thousandth of an inch, that's good enough. And that's what I shoot for. So first, we got to locate our cutter in relation to our fixed jaw of our vise. I'll bring you down a little closer and show you how I do that. All right. First thing we want to do is we want to determine how wide of our how wide our cutter is. You know, most of you will probably know this before you even put it in. You're cutting a certain, you know, certain width keyway. But in this instance, our cutter is 240 thousandths. So we know that the exact center of this cutter is 120 thousandths off the far edge. So we got that. Now, we're going to use our fixed jaw as a, as a, as a point to, to, to pull this off of. Just kind of like you would do a center finder you know, in a milling machine. So we need to bring this cutter down. Bring our fixed jaw over. Now, of course, I'm going to assume that most of you have indicated in your vise and you know that this vise jaw is true or parallel to the movement of the ram of the shaper. So we've indicated it in and we know that the vise is, you know, properly set up. And we'll take a feeler gauge and this can be any feeler gauge, but I prefer a thin, you know, this is a thousandth and a half feeler gauge. And what I'll do is just work this work the cross slide over until I feel a resistance. So It's a little tight, but let's get better now. Right. There we go. That's better. So now I'm pretty confident that the edge of this cutter is off this vice jaw by a thousandth and a half, and I know that the center of this cutter is a hundred and twenty thousandths from the edge. So hundred and twenty thousandth plus one and a half, hundred and twenty one point five thousandths. We know we're that far, or the center of this cutter is that far off of this vice jaw. Okay now I'll show you the next step. Okay guys we've determined that the center of our cutter is point one two one five off the vice jaw. We know that, so we write that down. Then whatever you know bore we want to cut a keyway in or external dimension we want to cut a keyway on, we measure the outside dimension of it. And this happens to be 2.4 inches, the outside dimension. So if we cut that in half to find the center, we're going to get 1.2 inches off of this wall to the center. So let's put this in the vise and I'll show you how I do the math. Now 
Okay guys, I've got this cutter raised up out of the way, but we've already determined that the center of this cutter is off this vise jaw 0.1215 inches. So let's say the, the pipe that, or this pipe is 2.4 inches in OD across the center, 2.4 inches across. So we know now just by dividing it in half, that the center of this pipe is 1.2 inches off the wall. Because now the edge of our pipe is on the, uh, the fixed vice job, which we pulled off of. So now we know where both the edge of this is and the center of our cutter is. So now all we got to do is do the math that it takes to come over to the center. We know that to the center off this vice jaw to, uh, of our pipe is 1.2 inches. We know already that we're off of this vice jaw. The center of this cutter is already off this vice jaw, 0.1215. So now it's just the math. We take, we know we gotta come off this vice, we know we gotta move this over 1.2 inches but we're already over off this vice jaw with the center of this cutter by 0.1215 so 1.2 inches minus because we're already over in there 0.1215 and that gives us a movement over of 1.0785 inches. So one inch, 78 and a half thousandths over, and that'll get our cutter in the center of this bore. I usually just you know, use the dial on my table movement, but you can also set up a, you know, most people aren't gonna probably do bores this large, so an inch travel indicator is more than good enough. Set up a mag base, you know, off your table, and move over, you know, the the required amount. It's not really that complicated. I'm sure it's clear as mud in this video, but it's really, really not hard. Uh, it's the way that I do it, and it always gets me, you know, within a thousandth or so. Long as I do my part correctly, it's not bad. Another thing that you got to watch is if you use the vice jaw method, and you're and you're gonna cut a keyway in a round item is that your major diameter of that round item needs to be you know down in the vice jaws if this if this was sticking up any bit you know it wouldn't be accurate or if it was or if you're holding this in the vise with some V blocks you would have to take this on the surface plate measure off your V block you know and get uh, a height that way but this is the way that I do it, and it works for me. If you have any questions, I'm sure some of you will, just ask them in the comments. If I made any mistakes in the math, let me know. Math is not my strong suit, but I can get by with what I know. This is the way that I do it. It works for me. I really appreciate you watching. If you haven't, please like and subscribe. Tell your friends. And thanks for watching.